Hello, hello, hello. Welcome everyone to another live stream. It's Sunday night. I'm back with, um, it's kind of a spooky game. I mean, it's going to involve murder and mystery and detective skills. Hello, Joe! But obviously not the spookiest game I could play. I did say last time that I was going to maybe play some Bioshock or, um, Dead Space. Um, I did actually install Bioshock and I had, I did give it a little play just to see if I could get it working on the stream and it ran okay and it, it did but um I think uh Bioshock is one of those games that I've never played I played Infinite I never played the first two um and I really do want to play the first one and I just think tonight is not really I'm not in the right mindset to play it tonight because I think it's going to be one of these games I hope so anyway that I actually want to carry on playing and tonight is going to be a bit of a shorter live stream, so I thought we'll leave that for tonight. Do that another time. Um, and instead, we're going to try the Dark Side Detective, which is a point-and-click, nice pixel art graphics point-and-click game. Um, and the good thing about this for tonight is that it's kind of split into mini stories um, that don't take very long to do. So we could maybe just do a couple of these tonight and then leave it there and then come back another time. So that's the plan for tonight. Anyway, hello to Stealthy in the chat. Hello, Gav GavGavX, and thank you very much for your Prime subscription. Very much appreciated. Your Bezos Bucks. Lovely stuff. Um, Edmundo Studios, hello. <laughs> I see you there with your little Homer Bush. Very nice. Um, Nexa Art Attack. Yes, don't worry, I haven't forgot. I haven't forgot. I've turned off Art Attack for tonight. I've left it turned off. Um because I'm going to do yours tonight. And the Royal Max Marvel 123. Hello. Uh, a shorter stream that gives me dinner with an owl flashbacks. Oh God, that game was so weird. Yes, hopefully. I mean, I'm pretty sure this game is going to be better than that. Um, less weird anyway. And I've just, yeah, there's better reviews for this game. Super Flash in the chat recommended this game to me um, a few times. So I think we'll be all right. We'll be okay, but uh, yeah, anyway, that's going to be it, really. Um, Got to be a short stream tonight because I want to try and get on with some video making. Um, I'm on a bit of a deadline to get this done before Halloween. I'd re and it's a Halloween-themed video, so I really need it to come out before next Sunday. Um, so wish me luck, guys. That's what I'm going to do after this stream tonight. And I'll give you a little hint. It involves more Blender work for a Simpsons Hit and Run mod. <laughs> God, Blender is just... Blender is is a whole, it's, I think I have trouble with um, Premiere Pro and After Effects sometimes, but um, Blender is just a whole other level of stuff I don't understand. Obviously, because I don't really do 3D modeling very much. Did it at university, didn't like it, and now I very rarely do it. But <clears throat> the good thing about the project I'm working on at the moment for the next video is that even if it's bad, I think it will be good. I'm allowed to be bad with this. I think that will make sense when you see the video. But anyway, I'm rambling now. Um, let's get on to the game. Here it is. There's no sound at the moment. Wait a minute. There we go. I'll save my art attack request for another stream. Yeah. That sounds good. That sounds good. But statue... Oh, we should really work on the statue, yeah. We should. So I'm just going to balance some audio. There we go. Let's see if I can even log onto the server still next time. I haven't even... Well, I think I tried a couple of days ago and I was still... It was still kicking me out. I was a bit... I'll never play again. That's it. I'm, I'm out of the JFS. Okay, right, so uh, let's have a quick look at how to play. Ooh, this is in your face, this text. How to play. Detective McQueen closes cases by talking to characters and solving puzzles. Left click to examine items, change locations or talk to characters. Right click to skip dialogue. Left click on inventory items for more information. Okay, classic point and click controls. We know the drill. Uh, drag items into the scene to use them or onto each other to combine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hint, McQueen can sometimes wear items, 
Uh, auto saved. Please do not quit the game while saving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can also save manually. Okay, great. Right, so very basic stuff. I don't think there's any voice acting in this game, and I'm still not 100% back to normal, so... <laughs> no, maybe not the best choice when you're suffering from a cough, but oh well. Uh, we've got one to two months left, we have, yeah. I just I just need a date. Exactly, one to, oh, one to two months, silly, silly bint. Silly bint, Agnes. Uh, hey Joe, hello Deathworks. Uh, how's life treating you? Do you still have Witch's House in the lineup for Halloween? I do. I do, actually. Um, it's on my Trello board for my spooky games. And so you're the expert on this, Deftworks, because you suggested it, obviously. I saw that there's obviously there's um, a version on Steam, which costs money, <laughs> which I don't mind paying for. Um, but there's also, like, I think, like, the first iteration of the game is a free one that I saw on itch.io or something. Is that one okay? Can I play that one or do I have to play the Steam one? Because yeah, I saw this one as well. Is this the same one? Maybe it was the wrong one I was looking at. Actually, I might have been looking at the wrong game. Never mind. <laughs> uh, do you know what? We'll come back to it. We'll come back to it. Let's go on with this for now. So, let's start with the case number one, which is Malice in Wonderland. Ooh. Malice in Wonderland. Case summary. The chief has sent me to the Jones's residence. Dooley is there with further details. Okay, let's go. Officer Dooley, uh, that rain's a bit loud, hang on. Uh, turn you down a little bit. It's still a bit loud, wait a minute. Why is rain so loud? Go down. There we go, Officer Dooley. Whoa, I almost shot you there, detective. You shouldn't be sneaking around like that. That's, that's poor, that's poor training on this officer's part. Dooley, you've watched me drive up. I uh, had my siren on. You waved at me as I pulled in. Yeah, very bad cop. Where's his donuts? I guess this place has me spooked out a little. So what happened here? Chief Scully just called me up and told me to get here ASAP. No details. Hello, Max. Hello to you too. Seven-year-old kid, Alice, went missing a day ago. No, no sign of her leaving the house. Seems to be the kind of spooky crap. I mean, the kind of case you're into, Detective. Ooh. We are after spooky stuff this month. Great, let's get started. All right. I love pixel art. It's just so clean. It's just so clean looking, isn't it? It's just so satisfying to look at. Okay. So we've got Doody here. What's this? Is this our little notebook? Oh, that's just the menu. Okay. Um... Let's talk to Dooley. After you, detective, you know whenever standing in this rain stops being fun for you. I love it. Squad car. I like to call it the Popo Moto. Shut up, Dooley. You little dweeb. Let's go inside. Hey, Super Flash. We are finally getting around to some dark side detective. Roy Jones. Officer Dooley, why is there a hobo dripping all over my carpet? That's Detective Francis McQueen, Mr. Jones. He's here to investigate. I see. Twin Lakes finest, eh? You're damn straight. What happened to their faces? They've become the Doctor Who villains. What are they called? Autom automatons or something. If you watch Doctor Who, you might know what I'm talking about. If not... You have no clue. Um, the old version... Oh, here we are. The old version one can have compatibility issues with newer systems. The new version also supports high resolutions and some extra puzzles and story bits. Personally, I would say buy the newest and support the developer. But if you want to try the older version, give it a test and see if it works on your system before the stream. The, uh, the old one only runs in 640 by 480 and the new one goes up to 1080. Okay, well, thank you for the information. 
yeah, compatibility. So just going back a little bit when I was saying I was trying out Bioshock before this stream. Uh, if you remember, they actually remastered the first two Bioshocks a few years ago, and they gave them free to people who already own the games on Steam and stuff. And I thought, great, I can play Bioshock. I can play it, play it, you know, nice, nicer graphics and and better support for newer systems. No, apparently, um, this this remastered version of Bioshock is like really buggy still and crashes a lot. So I think I, whenever I do get around to playing it, I'll probably be playing the original. OG. Okay. Anyway, uh, let's have a look. What's in the ashtray? This is a clue. I hope you don't smoke around a kid. Thankfully, detective, I am rarely around my kid. Oh, has he got a glass of wine in his hand? Hey, me too. So how can I help you, detective? So Alice is the girl that's missing. Where were you last night? Let's just ask about the girl first. I'll level with you, detective. I don't have many dealings with her. She has a limited conversation pool. Oh. She's seven. <laughs> Exactly, a tedious age. This guy sounds like me. He's got the wine. I don't smoke, but I could, you know, I could, I could probably pick it up if I, in the future. Who knows? <laughs> exactly, a tedious age. Shall I leave that to the nanny? She's around here somewhere. Okay, not a great dad by the sounds of it. Then. Hey, General Skaven. Um, is the petrol crisis in the UK still happening? No, I think as I think that's now. Somehow sorted itself out I don't I don't, I don't drive so I didn't didn't affect me but um yeah I, I really don't even know how that even came about brexit whatever don't know but it's now over it's because it doesn't get clicks anymore so the media doesn't talk about it on to the next thing now uh where were you last night why didn't she notice she, well why didn't you notice she was missing you terrible father figure I was out. How wonderfully shady. Have you got an alibi? Where I was is none of your business, detective. My taxes pay your salary. Oh, he's one of these guys. He's a... Is there a, is there a male version of a Karen? I'm pretty sure someone came up with the, what the male version of Karen is. This guy sounds like it. My taxes pay your salary. If I have any other questions, feel free to ask. I will do, thank you. It's never too late to start. True, I, actually, I could start vaping. There you go. They also pay for the cell and questioning room I'm going to have Dooley here take you to. Oh, this guy doesn't take any crap, does he? Fine, call this number. They'll vouch for me. <gasps> Busty Bell's Booty Boutique. Classy stuff. Ah, bells, fond memories. Uh, bell shop? No, 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 no. We received some matches. Okay, yep. Yeah. So that's up here. All right, so all of our items are going to be along the top, I guess. Have I played Driver 1 and Driver 2? Um, Not properly. I probably would have played one of them many many years ago on the ps2 or something were they even on ps2 were they ps1 games <laughs> shows how much i remember look at this lovely painting it reminds me of the one from the simpsons that marge painted above the uh above the sofa nice schooner is it no wait schooner schooner isn't it uh it's a sailboat it is a sailboat dooley idiot Do I move like this, or do I move by clicking? Oh, whoops. Oh, so I, I guess I just, I can't just like move around like that. It's not like a free, a free moving point and click. That's fine. Okay, let's head uh, into the hallway or upstairs. Let's go upstairs. Let's go into Alice's bedroom. Oh no, is this the mum? Oh wait, didn't, did I have more questions for the uh, for the dad? 
I don't think I did, right? No, I didn't. Hello, can I ask? Hello, uh, can you tell me about Ali's? Is there anything? Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. But anyway, how is everyone? How's everyone doing? Uh, on Sunday, I hope everyone had a nice weekend. I was, uh, I was at a Halloween party. Well, it was, it was kind of a Halloween party. It was a murder mystery party was dressing up. So yeah, I guess that's a Halloween party last night, which was good fun. Um, I dressed up as Mrs. Doubtfire, so... <laughs> Honestly, dressing up is great, but dressing up as old ladies, even better. I'll say this as well. Skirts are great. Just very, very freeing on the legs. And... Uh... I don't care if I got some strange looks in the charity shops where I bought all these clothes that people probably died in. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the cardigan. Didn't enjoy the wig. That's the thing with dressing up. It always, it always ends up with these crappy cheap Amazon wigs that you have to get last minute. And then they end up being itchy and sweaty and nasty. But apart from that, everything else loved it. Uh... Are you buying the Grand Theft Auto Trilogy Definitive Edition? Hmm, good question. I did see the trailer for that, and I'm not too sure about the the character models. Bungie, it's only a trailer. It's like we got tight, like seconds of footage from this trailer. Um, some of the character models looked a bit strange, but um, the map itself. Some of the shots looked great, like really impressive stuff for being this sort of remaster where it's not like a full on remaster. Um, I think it'll be good. Lots of people keep talking about the music, whether the music's going to be the same, and I don't think it will be. But I probably will pick it up because I'd like to try San Andreas specifically. Uh, this game is quite minimal in what you can do, but it really stumped me at points. Uh-oh, that doesn't bode well for me. That's a big telephone. Uh, the, yeah, I suppose when you only have a few pixels. <laughs> like, that's a big bear. That's a, what is this meant to be? Pencil pencil sortner? So, uh, pencil uh, storer thing? I'm gassy, but good. <laughs> How is the accent? So the only thing I really did was go, Hello! <laughs> And then pop around doors. <laughs> Couldn't really... Uh, my Scottish accent is not very good. So uh, I just kept on saying dear a lot. <laughs> I'm doing spectacular. Very good. My day is not too bad. I slept a lot today. Very lazy day. Did the, <laughs> did the granny drapes match the granny curtains? Uh, yesterday they did not. They did not. San Andreas is free on Game Pass. Yeah, I should probably get into Game Pass more. I, I always do the free trials for a, a pound, and then I never really continue it. But it would be good for live streams, actually, because you could just pick up anything and try it once. Uh, they made Resident Evil 4 in VR. I saw that. I saw that. It looks pretty good. It would make me completely motion sick very quickly, but impressive stuff. Asking the real questions. Could I play it on stream? Yeah, sure. Yeah, that would actually be a good stream. Anyway, let's get on to this game. Let's go talk to this dear mother who's uh, crying away. Hello. My baby. My baby is gone. She just disappeared. My baby. Is there any... You have to find... Okay, okay, we will. Bye. Find her. Okay. Teddy. The teddy's going to have a clue. Tell me where she is, bear. <laughs> a stupid know-nothing bear. Or is it? Sell it on fire. Uh, these are from Busty Bell's Booty Boutique. This kid didn't win out on the father stakes. No, clearly not. <clears throat> For now, I think the only good VR game is Half-Life Alex. The rest look bad and broken. Um, I really don't know enough about VR games, really. I know Beat Saber is a very popular one. 
but probably not in the same sort of category as Half-Life Alex. Um, like a big story-driven action game. Um, I Expect You to Die is a brilliant VR game. I've not heard of that one. I wish I wish VR was a bit more affordable. I think it's coming down. Uh, it's coming down in, in in price. Well, but that is if you want to go with the Facebook one, which is really dodgy. But um, yeah, I think I'm kind of with uh, Edmundo here. I think even if it was cheap and I had the room for it, I think I'd get too motion sick after a while. I could probably only play it in small chunks before I start hurling chunks. Am I thinking of playing Minecraft again? I was actually tempted to play it tonight, still see. Um, but yeah, yeah, I can give... Um, I'd like to do another challenge video or something, or maybe another speed run, even though I'm terrible at them. They are fun. If you can think of any good challenges to do in Minecraft, like a collecting one, let me know. Uh, you're going to wear a skirt. I know Velma is your favorite. Jinkies. But I don't think everyone wants to see your banana pants. No, I did, to be fair, I did wear some shorts under the skirt. Not just, I didn't just have my pants out underneath. Um, I thought that might be a bit much. So I did have some shorts on. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, a little bit of makeup. Had some pearls. Uh, cardigan. This lovely tartan skirt. Honestly, you can get some great stuff from a charity shop for cheap. Really can. And I didn't, you know... That's a good thing about this is that um okay it was it was like a, a silly costume thing but looked great authentic clothing authentic granny clothing and money went to charity so even better All right, what's going on what are these drawings creepy drawings a drawing of our suspect really I put out an APB no duty don't do that it's a man. Maybe it is a suspect. Hey, I know that tree. It owes me five bucks. Is he drunk? Pony. I've never seen a horse with five legs before. One, two, three, four. I don't like Dooley. <laughs> this is no time for art detective. No, a little bit later on for that. Black light, this looks useful. Oh, a marker, okay. Interesting. The label says for use under black light. Uh, pink socks in the drawers, okay. It's basically an escape room, but you sit in one place and solve the puzzles around you. It's properly immersive and a good puzzle game. Oh, that does sound good. That actually sounds really good because it doesn't have the movement aspect that would probably make me sick. I think that's the thing that gets a lot of people is um, the type of movement in the VR game. Because you've got, there's two types basically, isn't there? There's one where you, you use the analog stick and you actually move like you would in a, a regular game which um, I think is more motion sickness inducing. But then you've also got ones that just you teleport, like you blink from place to place. Um, and those ones I think are a little bit better, but yeah, staying in one spot, that's even better than that. I really enjoyed your last Minecraft. That was your slow speed run. Oh yeah, my, um, my, my uh, <laughs> what did I call it? Speed walk. I think that was a good idea, but yeah, have a think. Okay, cool. You saw they're going to add Shaggy to Mortal Kombat. Wait. Is it Shaggy from Scooby-Doo Shaggy? Or Shaggy, it wasn't me, Shaggy. <laughs> Either of them would be great. Like the Google Map thing you can do in VR. Oh. GeoGuessr in VR. Like, Geo, GeoGuessr in VR would be good. Right, what's up with these flowers? A place this fancy deserves something nicer than plastic flowers. Yeah, that's, that's gross. Right, we could ring up the boutique 
But let's go in here first, the master bedroom. What a lovely painting. Hard to believe this is the same woman we spoke to. The stress of all this has hit her hard. Oh, it's the nanny. <gasps> Hello, dear. <laughs> there I am. That's kind of how I looked a little bit last, last night. Kinda. All right, what do you know about this nanny? Was it you? Tell me about her. She's spoiled and sticks her nose where it doesn't belong. Nanny McFiend. <laughs> That's a good name, you get it? Nanny McFiend and Nanny McPhee. Very good. But that's what having super rich parents will do to you, I guess. What's a nanny doing in the master bedroom? Good question. Nothing suspicious, that's for sure. No siree. Hmm. How long have you been working for the Joneses? Joneses is is. Joneses. Detective, even though it ends with an S, you still pluralize it. Shut up, Dooley. Shut up. Answer the question. Long enough to harbor no ill will whatsoever. Doesn't sound like it. it. Sounds like you don't like the kid. Goodbye. We're done here for now. I'll get back to work and nothing else. What would the fatality be for Scooby Doo? Something like. Something like. Joe, like in in uh, in Scooby Doo, where they at the end when they find out that they catch the. They catch the ghost or whatever, and they pull off, pull off the mask. It's always a mask, right? And then the big reveal. Scooby Doo does that, but there's no mask. He just pulls off their skin, off their head. That's quite good, actually. And then, and then, the, then the, the the dead body guy, the, the the loser character, is like, "Oh, if it wasn't for you meddling, dog," and then dies. I should be a game designer. Damn. Damn. It's fun to fly around the map, but there is a button that puts you into a laying down mode. I kept pressing that button and almost fell over. <laughs> I would have liked to have seen that. Were you a nanny in a past life, Mark? Seems natural, maybe. Maybe that's why I don't like when kids annoy me now. Because I had a whole previous life of dealing with them. It's just fed through into my life. That doesn't make sense. What's this photo? Uh, she seems like a sweet kid. She seems like two pixels. <laughs> we'll find her, detective. Alice and her mum look quite happy here. Uh, it seems impolite to go rifling around somebody's drawers uninvited. Yeah, but this is this is a lost child case. Come on. Anything goes. A waterbed. Very fancy. Looks like something has been kicked under here. No, it doesn't. Strange page. Hmm. Strange. <gasps> Is that like some sort of hieroglyphic rune? Is the nanny doing some sort of satanic ritual? Oh, actually, she might be. <laughs> wow. It's a peculiar pattern from the Occult for Dummies book. Hmm, can I talk to you about this, you strange lady? Recognize this? That? Oh, uh, no, I'm more of a complete idiot's guide kind of gal. Hmm. The nanny is sh for sure stealing. I mean, wouldn't you? If you were a nanny for a rich family, you I mean, they wouldn't notice a few things going missing here or there. Uh, can I ask her about anything like this marker? Just draw all over her. No. Okay, fine. Let's head downstairs into the hallway and then we'll go up and try the phone. Oh, a nice grandfather clock. And a chandelier. They are rich. 
One of those crystals is worth more than we get paid in the year. Exactly. Just take one. <laughs> we could take one. Hmm. Oh, we put. Well, I would not pass the corruption test. Sorry. This reminds me of my own grandfather. Your grandfather was a clock? No, he had a clock. Shame, I thought I'd finally found out something interesting about you. I really, I'm, I'm, I'm not understanding this relationship between these two characters. <laughs> I'm just not getting the vibe between them. <laughs> well, I'm interested. Whatever you say, detective. Shut up, Dooley. We need Dennis. Oh, Dennis. Oh, I did it. There you are. We need Dennis on the stream to, to give some shut ups for me. Shut up, Dooley. Uh, okay, so where do we go? Study, closet, or living room? Let's go to living room. Oh, that's where we were. Closet. Box of junk. Hmm, a black light bulb. Might as well take it. Now we want uh, all we need is a disco ball, some white clothes, and, a, and fat beats. Then we've got ourselves. A, no one says fat beats, Dooley anymore. Idiot! Shut up, Dooley. Okay, so we've got a black light bulb and black light markers. That's quite interesting. Now, let's leave this place. Let's come out of the closet. Uh, locked. I wonder where I'd find a key. Can we open the grandfather clock? No. Um. Okay. Well, in that case, I guess we should go do the go do the phone. Let's try it. I'd better check Roy's alibi. Oh, it's Belle. It's Belle herself picking up the phone. Hello? Is this Belle's? Busty Belle's Booty Boutique. Busty Belle's Bosom Bordello. Busty Belle's Bond. Yes, would have been enough. <laughs> I'm a thorough woman. No question left unanswered, no desire unfulfilled, no fantasy unexplored, no. Oh my, I get the picture. Are you sure? I could send you one if you'd like. Ah, she is keen for a sale. Was a Mr. Roy Jones in your establishment last night? Couldn't say. Client confidentiality. In Identities are concealed, sometimes in masks. This is a police matter, Belle, you silly bint. I am Detective Francis McQueen. Frankie McQueen? Of the Dark Side Division? Yes. <gasps> Tell Dooley I said hello. Oh, Dooley. I'm glad this screen resolution doesn't let you make out that I'm blushing. <laughs> you could have one pixel. Happy to help a friend of Dooley's. Yep, Roy Boy was in here last night. Roy boy. Some questions, even a badge, won't get you answered. Okay, so he has got an alibi then. Goodbye. Oh. Was the attic always open? Did I just miss that before? Probably just missed it. Uh, let's go up. Right. Don't be so mean to Dooley, he's a good boy. Well, he's, he's up to bells. Uh, Crisis Trilogy Remastered, don't... Crisis? What? Shut up, Bell. Shut up, Bell. Just, that, see, this would be... If I had, uh, you know, going back to being a game designer with the brilliant Scooby-Doo murder thing, uh, if I was ever to make my own point and click... Which I have looked into at some points. It would be so much work to make a game. There's no way I could do it. But um, 
if I was to make my own game, the main character would definitely have a good catchphrase, like just telling everyone to shut up. Shut up, Dooley. Shut up, Bell. Boring biddy Bell. <laughs> I don't trust in-game companies, even Rockstar. I don't think you should trust Rockstar. I think that, um... I don't think you should trust any games company, really. Look at how everyone loved, uh... Bloody... Oh, crap, what they called? Why have I just forgot what they're called? Who made Cyberpunk and Witcher 3? CD Projekt Red. C right, yeah. CDPR. Um, everyone loved them before Cyberpunk came out. They were like... The apple of everyone's eyes. And then what happened? Anyway, uh, what's up here? We have some paint cans. These look heavy enough to knock someone out cold. Well, like Maggie. She like what she does to Homer. Broken lamp. Hmm, may not be broken after all, just a blown bulb. Okay. More boxes. A box marked Anne's Broken Dreams. Who's Anne? Paint thinner. The paint thinner fell when the shelf gave way. Not much left in it now. Oh, but we still get it. Okay. <clears throat> That's good. Oh, right. That's the broken shelf. I see. Looks like it gave way recently. Spilling it all over the wall. Well, let's stick the bulb in the lamp. Uh-oh, there it is. What the hell? Shut up, Dooley. Well, that doesn't look ominous at all. Dark side doorway. Let's go in. The pattern on the wall looks washed out in places. I wonder what would happen if I redrew it. Hmm. <clears throat> they shat the cyber bed. They sure did. Some people think Rockstar is never going to make a bad game. I think like the, the thing with Rockstar is like they don't. You can tell that all their games are for the most part well made. At least on a on a um, on a technical level, like GTA V is crazy, crazy impressive, really, when you think about it. But um, I don't know, just some of the practices they do, you know, the fact that they just they just kind of ditched it for the online stuff and just making money there. Because why wouldn't they? They make loads of money from GTA Online, um, and. Uh, I think Take Two, who own, was like the parent company of Rockstar, are also not great either. But um, we'll see. GTA Six. Who knows when that's going to come out? Anything other than GTA Five again? I'll be happy. Interesting. To be fair, I haven't actually played all of all that much of GTA Five in the end. Very little of it, actually. Story-wise. I can't wait for GTA 5 on PlayStation 7. Don't. That and bloody Skyrim. McQueen, isn't that related to Lightning? The Kachow McQueen? Owen Wilson? Right, let's redraw this... Uh occult thing. Oh, okay. Well, we've actually got to line it up again. So, we need square with two dots either side. That one. Line. Double line, two dots. That one. And squiggly stair thing. That should be it. Great. Shut up, Dooley. Let's go in. Even I'm not foolish enough to go in there with no light. Oh, matches. No? I thought lighting a match would be a good idea. I guess we need a torch. 
Oh, hang on. No, I thought it might need to... I mean, paint thinner would be flammable, so maybe we need to make our own torch. Somehow. Okay, let's head back down. Maybe I missed something. Um... Well, there's that room that we haven't got into yet, isn't there? Um... Oh, hang on. Pla Why would these be plastic flowers? I wonder if that's a clue for something, because... Plastic flowers. Why? I don't know why they don't remaster Oblivion and Morrowind rather than keep on with boring old Skyrim. I don't know. I don't know. I guess, um... Yeah, actually, I don't know. I mean, lots of people like Oblivion. <laughs> Very popular. But I guess they just have a lot on their plate with their... What's it called? Star field? Is this, no, not is it Starfield? Whatever their new sci-fi RPG is. I hope you don't get Bane of Arthropods. Thank you. Uh, let's talk to him again. Now that he's got an alibi. I want to access your study. <clears throat> I'd love to help, Detective, but I seem to have misplaced the key. Sorry. Mr. Jones, there seems to be an evil doorway in your attic. Just as well you're here then. Go arrest it. It's trespassing. You heard me. Arrest it. I want to press full charges. You silly man. I can't arrest a door. Um... Dissolves paint, markers, and oily residues. Oily residues. What would I need to get rid of? Interesting. Yeah, no, don't put it in the ashtray. Right, so I need to find a key as well, I guess. No Man's Sky is a game I actually want to try on stream. Apparently it's come a long way since the whole blunder when it was first released. And, uh, yeah. Sort of the game I think I could get into quite a bit. Um, we checked all this, didn't we? Um, there's a creep. Have you found her? Have you found my baby? No. no. We can't deal with her at all until we have, we've found her, her child, clearly. Maybe if they had eyes, they wouldn't lose things. <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong there. Right, um, let's go talk to the nanny again, because now we've, we've we've made the occult thing. Say, you're the nanny. The very innocent nanny, yes. Do you have keys for the various rooms? I'm a nanny, not a maid. Right, but do you? Yeah. <laughs> Give me the keys. Right, good, we've got the key. Also, what was the other thing we could ask her? What can you tell me about the demonic doorway in the attic? Nothing. Not a thing. It's nothing to do with me, that's for sure. I was here the whole time. Yeah, but you also hid the page. <laughs> Shut up, Nanny, if that is your real name. <laughs> GTA is huge in Brazil. Some even play GTA San Andreas a lot. Mm. I know the GTA role-playing servers are, are quite big, especially on Twitch. Maybe not anymore. Actually, they probably still are. Um, right, let's go to the study then. Study. Oh, right. 
And hey, presto, we're in. Ooh. Oh, it's a dog. I thought it was a cat. That's still uh. Anyway. Roy Jones, Esquire. It takes a certain type of person to have an oil painting of themselves. Uh, if I had the money, I'd have it. Why not? This is like that Twilight Zone episode. Which one? Role playing GTA as Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> um, if I practice my accent a bit more, I actually think I'd be really bad at role playing. I think I'd just get a bit too nervous. Plus, it's like some of them are really like you have to like. Obviously, you have to apply to some of them, but you really have to prove that you're going to do it and do it properly. I guess they just they don't want anyone coming in and, and messing it up and ruining it for everyone else. Um, too much pressure for me. When I play games, I don't want to have to deal with applications <laughs> and like upholding a certain level of quality. No, thank you. Right, oh, a lantern. Good, that's what I need. Uh, an old oil lantern seems to have some oil left too. Brilliant. Dog. Oh, perfect. Just what I need. The statue is ugly enough to be worth a lot of cash. Pick it up. No. Books. Magazines. His magazine collection. Jeez, this guy is obsessed with jugs. Jugs Weekly! <laughs> Another lovely pair. <laughs> cool. Look at those jugs. Mm. <laughs> the kid finds a doorway to another dimension behind a bookshelf and goes missing. Wait a minute. That sounds oddly familiar. Anything else in here? Or did we just want the lantern? I think we just wanted the lantern. Yeah, let's go. Let's go back upstairs, up to the attic. Oh wait, do we need to light the lantern? Oh yeah, right, let's light it then. There we go, lit lantern. And in we go. Oh, whoops. Okay, Dooley, let's do this. No offence, Detective, but I'm going nowhere near that creep fest. Oh, come on, Dooley. Do shut up. I'll stand guard, okay. <gasps> Hello, I'm Alice. Nice to meet you. <laughs> you could do Red Dead Redemption online. I'm sure you would do well on a <laughs> tied to a railroad. I did, to be fair, that is what I did a lot when I played the original Red Dead. So I would be quite good at that. Right, so Alice is here. Is this like an alternate dimension? Yeah, it is, because it's the same, but just flipped. Hello, mister. Hey, kiddo. Are you here to take me home? Yep. Good. I'm hungry and the sounds from downstairs are scaring me. Ooh. What's downstairs here? A box marked Baby's First Cult Grobes. The label says Old Milk, circa 1880. Why would you store that? Don't look in there, mister. That's where the three-eyed rats hide. Three-eyed rats? Are they related to Blinky? Uh, okay, let's go then. Crash bang. <gasps> it was the nanny. Not so fast, detective. Where's Dooley? Dead. Oh, no, never mind. I knocked him out. I can't have you snoop around anymore, so I'm going to trap you here. At least take the girl. Oh, I intend to. 
I'm her legal guardian after all, it's my job to look after her, especially if anything should happen to her parents. Say, for example, they're getting trapped in the dark sides version of their bedroom. It's where they'd be now if Alice hadn't gotten into my stuff and stupidly trapped herself up here. I figured it'd be best to lay low until you had gone. I thought you'd have given up by now. It's always the nanny, guys. It's always the nanny. I want Red Dead for PC. Yeah, that would be good. The original Red Dead for PC would be very good, but... um, I heard that... Uh... Oh, wait, they lost the code for it. I heard that it was just such a bunch of spaghetti code that it was, like, unportable. But if they lost it, then, yeah, that kind of... <laughs> that doesn't help either. What kind of cop would give up on a missing kid? Most of the TLPD? Fair. <laughs> so what is this? Uh, so that's what this is, an inheritance scheme. Uh, you have to admit, it's a fairly perfect crime. Now, if you've got access to occult doorways, then... Yeah, I guess so. Even if you do get rid of me, then what? Alice knows what you're up to. She's a smart kid. And she just starts drooling. <laughs> if she's so smart, she'll know to keep her mouth shut. Once Dooley wakes, you and your scheme will be done for. Hmm. Good point. I'll just have to get you to drag him in here with you. Come on. Nanny McFiend. Okay, drag your friend in here and no funny business. Hmm. What are we going to do? I'm scared, mister. You'll be okay. I knew... Oh, so it was... The, yeah, it was the paint can that knocked him out. Great. Uh, I knew those paint cans were heavy enough to knock someone out. Yes. Wait a minute. Wasn't there... Like, isn't the doorway on the other side the same? Maybe we can knock her out. Somehow. Don't waste time trying to sweet talk your way out of this. Okay. Um, let's think about this. Pink hands. What should I do with this paint thinner? Oh, we can trap her in. We can dissolve the marker. Trap you in there, you silly bin. Have a taste of your own medicine. No. <laughs> So, the kids got into the nanny's stuff and accidentally used it to trap herself in that creepy attic? Yes, Dooley. The dark side, but that's a surprisingly succinct summary of things, yes. Shame the nanny was, cert was certifiable, she was a looker. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Yep, yep, yep. Still all the cash. She's, she's not a nice lady. I wonder where the nanny got that occult book... Got the occult books from anyway. That stuff is hard to find these days. A case for another day, I guess. First of all, we have to figure out what kind of paperwork covers this mess. It's always the paperwork. As we know from Hot Fuzz. There we go. That was a little bite-sized one. I like that. That's very, very quaint. Who would have thought that the nanny called Nanny McFiend and was acting suspicious was the one behind it all, eh? Who would have thought? Uh, that damned homekeeper. Never trust a homekeeper. No offence, Alfred Pennyworth. Oh, yeah, no. Alfred is like... He's the um, the exception to the rule. Everyone needs him. Okay. Um, shouldn't they like arrest her? Probably. But she's just trapped in there, in there now forever. 
so you've still got that gun too. Technically, you can play Red Dead 1 on PC through PS Now, but yeah, a real PC release would only be if they fully remake it, most likely. Yeah, doubt that's going to happen, but that would be nice, wouldn't it? It would be nice. Okay, um, do we have time for one more? I did say this was going to be a short stream tonight. Um... And I have to do, I do have to do the, the Art Attack 2. Mm. No, we're going to leave it there. We're going to leave it there. I told you it was going to be a short stream. I'm sorry. Um, let's just head back to this one for now. We'll come back to this game though, because that was, uh, that was nice. That was nice. Uh, how do I quit though? <laughs> oh, the big X. That helps. Right, so um, we're going to get up. So yeah, I, like I did say before, like I, I, I still wanted to stream tonight because I, I just wanted to. Didn't have a reason not to. I am indoors, but um, it just won't be a very long one tonight. Oh god, I just, <laughs> I just had a glimpse of the last art attack we did. Which uh, is really quite something. Looking back on it, I'm very impressed with this. Let me just get it up, ready to go. Look at this. So in case you weren't here last time, this um, this was the scene from License to Kill, James Bond 007. <laughs> License to Kill, Timothy Dalton, his second Bond film. Good Bond film, I think. I think it's quite good. Got a good song, got a good villain. But one of the things about this film was that it was more... Um, it was more violent than previous incarnations compared to Roger Moore's. So one part had a guy trapped in like a pressure thing and his head popped. And this is seconds before his head popping. It's a real gallery you have now. I know, right? Look at this. Ignore these ones I was just testing. But like from this point forward, a wonderful gallery. And we're gonna add to it tonight by painting a twerking peach. That's right. A twerking peach. I really need to sort out the chat because you really can't read white text on, on this. But actually, I'm going to change the colour right now anyway. So... What colour should we have? Peach is sort of orangey. So let's have a sort of bluish. Something around here, maybe. Actually, we don't... Let's have, let's have a different colour. We always usually have blue. Let's go like a nice purpley pink. Yeah. Oh no, you want blue? Okay, it's Nate's painting. We'll have blue. I just thought we have blue quite a lot, but that's fine. So yeah, this is it. In case someone doesn't know, Art Attack is you, uh, you request some art from me, which um, is actually turned off for now because I'd like to only do one or two a stream because I usually spend too long doing them. Uh, and this is one I, I actually got from Nick's the last stream I didn't have time to do. But he wants me to paint uh, a twerking peach. One thing I need to do actually, I don't know if this is even possible. Someone who knows Twitch and OBS and stuff better than I do might be able to tell me. But can you, um, I want like, so when someone redeems the, the thing, the channel point thing, and they type in what they want, I want that to appear on screen. So, uh, I want that to like, so people will know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna hang on. So this was uh, a peach twerking, but I'm sure this is possible. I just 
like automatically. I just don't know how to do it. There we go. Font. Sorry, don't mind me. I'm just uh, just sorting this out. Let's give it a little bit of an outline. <laughs> I'm just designing stuff on the fly now. This is professional. I am a professional streamer. It's going to stick it down there or something. Uh, where can I stick it? I'll go down there. <clears throat> Lovely. So yeah, this is the part of the stream where we're just going to relax and draw a peach. It'll be up for auction at MuckCon 2022. Not to be confused with conned by MuckCon. No, 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 no. No one. My conventions would be great. There'd be there'd be um, coffee for everyone. There'd be um, Minecraft, there'd be a Minecraft costume competition, obviously. I'd have to have someone propose. I'd just force someone to propose at my own convention. I'd have a ball pit. Um, no kids allowed, absolutely. Absolutely no one under the age of 20. Uh, and a big Simpsons marathon or something like that. And guest appearances from, um, who would I like to be there? Maybe someone like uh, Dion Warwick. She could do some live music for us. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Sean Connery, uh, might have a bit of an issue there. <laughs> So obviously, if we're doing a peach twerking, my thought process is the peach should really look like the emoji peach because that already looks like a bottom. All right, that's what everyone uses it for, yeah? Peach and a, and a eggplant if you're in America. So let's do something like that, shall we? Do I want to marry you? Um, depends on what sort of money I can get from you. Sorry, I'm just being honest. <laughs> okay, right. So how am I gonna do twerking? I think I wanna do like twerking. I kinda wanna do it like against a wall. So I think I might do a wall and then do the peach like resting against it. So actually we need brown first. Let's do like a brick wall or something. Something like this. There we go. There we go. You could marry and then kill for the money. I have killed Nixer a lot in UHC. <laughs> Isn't that right? Okay, let's have like a, just a gray for the, uh, not that gray though, that's too light. Maybe one like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just like some tarmac. You don't want to marry me anymore? Oh, okay. Your loss. Oops. I think the peach is going to be quite nice to draw actually because we've got some nice colours in peaches and we can do some nice blending as well. Right, so well, we have the wall and the ground. Maybe we'll do, let's do some, um, 
Let's do some like bushes or something in the background. Let's, you know, really, really make this look nice. Don't need to put a lot of detail into the backgrounds of my paintings. But let's do something a bit different this time. Now let's go proper Bob Ross on this. Do some happy little bushes. Really should have done the bushes first though, because I'm going to have a problem with the line. Let's get a thinner brush. There we go. Lovely stuff. So what's people got planned this week? Uh, this week, not weekend. I was gonna say weekend. This week, I'm assuming probably school and work. There we go. Let's add some highlights to these bushes. Something like. Oh, not that. I don't like that green. Let's go this green. Okay, add a bit of that in. Blend it. Oh no, what's going on there? That's not right. That's quite good. Just a little bit of texture in there. Okay, there we are. You can maybe do this one as a puzzle. You could. Joe, you know I read a sun for you as well. planning on working five days and having a weekend two days. That sounds good. That sounds like a plan. Okay. Shouldn't you use a pencil first to draw the lines and then use a brush? I could do. Most of the paintings I've done so far um, oops. Have been pencilless, or maybe a pen as well. Um, I could, like, for some things, I could maybe do this and do like a sort of style to it, more like a comic book sort of style. But I could also use that maybe um, for, like, I could use it to do some bricks in the wall, maybe if I get the right color. I like this one, I could do some bricks, you know. Like that. Just to show that this is a brick wall. But actually I don't like that. We'll do that maybe at the end. Back to the peach. <laughs> so, um, let's get a nice peach colour on here. Something like, let's start off with just a an orange, maybe that one. See, this is how we're gonna get some nice colors here. Mm -hmm. So I'm literally gonna do whatever, does anyone know what this sort of peach is? It's the peach that looks like a butt. I think it's a particular species, like a uh, species, it's not the right word, but um, like a sp specific type of peach that looks like this. We're gonna give it like a nice, again, this is a little bit like we're verging onto kind of like we, what we did with the banana. What's, what's, where's the line on Twitch? We'll never really know. Um, we'll never really know the line, but that's fine. Well, we will if I ever get told off, but it's art. You can't complain about art. And it's a peach as well. It's not, it's not filth. It's art. Okay. Um, 
what I want to do now Someone has to find that line. I am. I'm I'm the scapegoat. For all the artists on Twitch. Okay, I haven't done this bit too well yet, but this is meant to be in front of that. This bit here. You know, we are twerking here, so it's gotta be kind of voluptuous. <clears throat> um, let's get some lighter colours in here. Um, what's this going to look like? Uh, let's just see how this goes. I just want to get sort of like a bit of a bit of a gradient in here. Hey, I'm twerking here. <laughs> hey. Also, I don't know what to do in terms of like, um, do, I've got to give it arms, right? But, uh, might be a bit more red than that. Yeah, something like that. Mm, probably even darker than that, you know. Yeah, something like that. Okay. I hope you're happy, Nexa. I hope you're happy now. Just trying to get that shadow, you know, because obviously it goes in here. That looks good. Happy with that. Yeah, that kind of almost looks a bit like a leg as well. Like going down to a thigh. <laughs> God's sake. <laughs> oh yes, definitely to the leaves. Actually, the leaves can be the arms pressing against the wall. Perfect. That's a, that's a really good idea. I'm going to try and get a bit more red on this side just to sort of show a bit more of the shape of the peach. Cool. Sometimes the blending does like a weird thing or it doesn't do what I want it. Like it blends the wrong bit of the paint. Like there's not quite what I want it to do. That's more like it. Yeah. Okay, let's get a bit of a highlight on the cheek. Eventually we'll run out of fruit and action pose combos. I hope so. Whenever that day will be. That's, that's completely the wrong colour. That's gone into like a weird green. 
Why is it that colour? No, 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 no. Do not do that. There we go. Let's get some light on this cheek. Not like that though. I wasn't happy with that. <laughs> I keep changing my mind. Mm, maybe something more like that. No, I don't like how that's not a very nice colour. Yeah, that's better. That's better. Do a little bit of blending action on this. Okay, just lost it entirely. I'm gonna undo. Just need a smaller blending brush, that's all I need. Oh, um, I was going to talk about Lego for a second. Did I forget to talk about Lego? I think I did. Especially if Super Flash you're here, I know you're a bigger Lego fan like me. Well, m more so, you have tons of Lego. Um, <clears throat> I just saw today about the, the Home Alone Lego set. It looks so good, it looks so good. Like it's a proper house and everything. It's like a doll's house. I do want it, but equally it is like 230 quid. So, yeah. Okay, I need to get darker. That's too dark. Something like that will do, just, I mean, that's a gray though, not, see, I've messed up here. I've done the brown, maybe I have to be a lighter brown. I've done brown for the wall, but now I need to do brown for the, um, the stalk. That'll do. Yeah, a bit too pricey for me too. Sad, but I've got to, I gotta spend my money more wisely. Annoyingly. I did see the Titanic though. That one is just insane. Like, I, I just don't, how can people afford these things? And where do they put it all as well? That is just a huge set. What I'm trying to do right here, I've just gone over the stalk, that's fine, I can redo that. Just doing the, the leaves for the arms, like so. This peach, if you're wondering, twerking is, is twerking against the wall. I ran out of money they could build a Lego house from all the parts yeah and then start, start, start eating Lego sad but they had no other options I think there's a TV show that, that did that I think it might have been one of James May's TV shows where they actually made a Lego house, full size one.
Okay, right, dry that, very happy with that. Let's do the stalk again, which was, I've lost now, oh, I've lost the color. Way over this way, like this one, I think. <laughs> right, so uh, I'm actually very happy with that peach. I think that's great, like the shape of that, it looks voluptuous. I think um, in a disgusting way, I, I agree with you. I do agree with you, Max, don't worry. I'm proud of this, but also sickened. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna um, see if I can do some clouds maybe with a watercolor brush, just to see how this turns out. I think I've tried this in the past and it's not too good, but. Oh no, this is actually a lovely cloud brush. It's got that sort of fluffy, fluffy quality to it. Lovely. Do some clouds, some wispy clouds. You know, it's a lovely day, why wouldn't you twerk? That's a bit weird how it goes over the, oh well. Does that work, doing long ones? No, probably not. I'm gonna head back over to, let's try a pen. I'm gonna do some birds. It's a beautiful day. They look like birds, they also kind of look like bats. Well, the bats would be the way around, wouldn't they? Sorry. Birds in the sky. Almost look like hills far away. Oh yeah, maybe it's a mountain. That's the great thing about Joe's Ark. Art, do you mean <laughs> exactly? I like to give the options for for interpretation. You see what you want to see. Some people see a peach twerking. Some people see a lovely sun with the clouds and, and birds. Do I twerk often? I don't, I'm afraid. I'm not an expert. Um, mainly because it's not great weather here, obviously, so not many opportunities to twerk outside. It's very cold today. Okay, right, last thing to do. Let's add a bit of a shadow, just something I want to try. We're getting a bit fancier here, but I just want to see what, like if the sun's over there, there's gonna be a shadow over here. How would this look if I just do a bit of a shadow? Oops, that's not the right brush. That's too dark. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe something like that one, a grey. That's the same grey that I used. <laughs> I don't think, I don't know if a shadow is going to work. I might be pushing my limits here. <laughs> as far as, as far as a peach, yeah, screw that. As far as a peach twerking goes, I think I might be uh, trying a bit too much. It'd be easier to do with this, but it's just a little bit too dark. Doing shadows is quite hard, actually. Because I'd also then actually think about it, I'd need to do the shadows up here as well. I need to do the shadows along the wall, like this. And uh, that's quite 
quite hard to do that nicely. So no, we're leaving the shadows. All right. Um, I believe the last thing to do is just to add some movement lines because obviously it is twerking. How would you, how would you best show that? I don't really want to do it on top of the cheek like this. It looks a bit weird. be over there. That's not where the twerking is happening. It's here. If only I could animate this. If only. It could still work with a dark brown, do you think? Do you think? Let's have a go. I like your faith in me. Um... No, it's still not dark enough. I mean, that is ever so slightly darker. That could work. Needs to be a bit bigger, though. can't do it so I'm gonna leave it right <clears throat> also yeah true wouldn't wouldn't the shadow go more like over here you're very you're very right there Dennis wait a minute that will be more like coming out from over here and the shadows would be like stretching out along the wall. I won't do the ones on the wall, but I will do one on the ground. I'll do that, there you go. Just to give a bit of placement in the world. Ground it a little bit. Now it pooped. It pipped. Get it? Because they have pips. I thought that was quite clever. I don't really know what I'm doing now. I think I'm uh, I'm probably I'm probably uh, I just wanted to try and blend that a little bit. Can I even blend the watercolor one? I've never tried doing this. Oh, I don't think it's gonna work actually. Whoa, definitely not. getting a bit hung up on that so I'm gonna stop if it's not working I'm not gonna force it I think with that we're done here let's give it a signature uh, down here lovely stuff Get rid of that. I 
And there we go. There is a peach twerking. Next to that one's for you to add to your collection of strange fruit art. What have you got now? You've got a peach, a kiwi, um, a... Oh, hang on, let's just save it first. Twerking peach. You've also got the anime durian fruit, the pomegranate, the banana, yeah. Lovely. Cool job. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, hang on. Uh, there you go. <laughs> What a lovely peach. Maybe I should have done like a maybe I should have done like a teeny tiny little face here. Teeny tiny. No. No. Uh, as per usual, this will be up on the Discord next so for you to download and treasure. <clears throat> uh, and and so too will the NFT, I'll send that over to you for it, right? Yes. Mm hmm However that works. How do you even get NFTs? Are they a file? God knows. I, I really don't even know how that whole stuff works. But anyway, close that now. We are done for tonight. A shorter stream, as mentioned, but um, it is 10 o'clock. I'd like to do some stuff before bed. Turn off this music. Uh, thank you, everyone, for popping by tonight and joining me. A little bit of uh, Dark Side Detective, not too much, but we will return to it <clears throat> because there are many more cases to play, and uh, it was good. I, I enjoyed it. Some nice little dialogue and... Uh, uh, a decent start to the puzzles, I imagine, because that's the first one, it was quite simple, but they might amp up a bit in difficulty, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, but I'll be back on Wednesday for another live stream. Um, I really, I always usually say, oh, it will probably be this or probably be that, but to be honest, the thing is, is like, it really depends on how I'm feeling. I know Nakes has talked about this before as well, when he streams. Like, it really just does depend on how you're feeling before you start streaming. Um, like I had, I had Bioshock all set up and I thought, actually, no, I'm not feeling it. So who knows what I'll be streaming on Wednesday. You have to come and find out then. But yes, until then, I'll catch you all next time. Bye bye, folks.